how am I still alive? How have I lived to see the age of 34? I just, I don't even know. Y'all, this is, um, this is liquid highlighter that I just put all over my face. <laughs> and you fucking know, you best believe I'm not cutting this out when I edit. I suck at this influencing thing. I don't know if you've noticed. Okay, I think I've got my freaking mic on. Hello, hello. <sighs> Look, I'm not drinking a Red Bull. We're testing out some viral drugstore affordable products today. I swooped these up um, and they finally all got to me. I don't know why I ordered these mostly from Ulta and they just came in like different packages. So that was annoying. Um, but let's go ahead and go through. Oh, I bought two different foundations. I'm not sure which we're gonna use. Okay, so a lot of this is like e.l.f. makeup revolution, but these are all viral products that people are loving and I have never tried them. So I thought, why not? I gotta get ready anyway. So let's, let's try this out. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I'll link everything for you guys in the description box below if you wanna check it out. If you've heard of a new viral makeup product or you have used one recently that like I, I really need to try, let me know what it is. Also, I'm gonna apologize in advance. I am quite pregnant right now. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm in the 30s. <laughs> so I'm like out of breath pretty much all the time. So there's that. First, we're gonna be using the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. Supposedly, this is a little bit of a dupe for the um, Hydro, why am I drawing a blank? The Hydro Grip from Milk Makeup. Oh, it's real sticky. It feels like the aloe that you put on your skin after you have a really gnarly sunburn, which I actually had to slather all over my legs the other day. We went to the beach and I uh, didn't put sunscreen on and I guess I was out there a little longer than I thought. Um, so I'm just gonna put this in the areas that makeup tends to wear off a bit on me. So I'm gonna not really focus over here. That is pretty sticky. It feels like aloe gel. It's very sticky. I think I'm gonna need to let this um, dry for a second. I have not used Makeup Revolution in quite some time. This is their In Real Life Filter Finish Makeup. This is in C4. It's a soft matte concealer. So uh, supposedly this dries down really well. Doesn't crease, doesn't look too thick. Um, it looks like it's gonna look really thick to me right now, so I don't know. This is what the little applicator looks like. That doesn't suck. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the top here. Got a lot of little veins to cover. The star of the show is here. Diana, would you like to say hello? <sighs> oh. That is covering pretty dang well. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't look too heavy. It's actually looking pretty good, so. I haven't used a little beauty blender. There is like a hair on my nose or something. I haven't used a little beauty blender like this in a very, very long time. Okay, that actually looks really good. Um, I'm impressed with that. I didn't know if the shade was gonna work either, but this looks pretty good. Looks pretty freaking natural. It hasn't creased yet. Let's go in. I'm trying to decide what I would do in my eyes. I don't think I wanna do anything too too much. Hmm. This is the brand Undone Beauty. I had never heard of this before I went shopping for this video. This is the Curator Eye Palette by Undone. So you get a lot of little shades that are kind of all sandwiched together there. You got some golds, you got some neutral pinkish browns. Pulling me in over here. I really like these. Then I grab this little baby mini tiny, tiny lightweight palette right here by e.l.f. that has, you know, these are some basic shades, but um, they're pretty. We still don't have any creasing. Oh, there's a tiny bit right there. You want to come say hello? Say hello, Diana. Diana, oh, my black kitty. You're so cute. Holy clean 
brushes. I love clean brushes. I love me some clean brushes. I think I'm gonna go with this one on the lid and then maybe move over with these. But I'm gonna just, well, that's really gold. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one on the inner corner here and see, see what happens. Okay. Undone Beauty. Have you guys like heard of that? Am I just late to the party? Like, I feel like there are so many makeup brands like out there. Like I find, like I see a new one every day, like on my feed or something. Like they're just, they're running rampant. This is really pretty. And do a little crease action. Oh, that's pretty. It's like the little pink pearl kind of shade in the palette. There's like a white one too, but that's gonna be a little too white for me. I mean, if I hadn't just put my fake tanner on and got myself so brown maybe, but you know. This is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Ultra Fine Liquid Liner. This is in like a brown shade. So I think I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this and just add like a little bit of a liner so that my lashes have something to like sit on. I bought this one on um, Amazon and I have used this one before, so I'm cheating a little bit there. I really like that it has the little fine um, brushes as opposed to like being a felt tip. I have just realized like as I get older and as I age and as my eyes just get wrinklier, felt tip is just not where it's at. It just it does not make clean liner an easy task. So do yourself a favor and just skip over felt tip liners if you're in the same boat. Okay, the um, this is feeling good. It feels slightly tacky still, so I guess we'll see. I don't think that it has like covered up any of my pores, not that it claimed to do that, but that's something I really like in my uh, primers these days. I think I'm gonna go based on color right now and um, neither of these are actually it, but this is definitely not it. Uh, I typically put it on a palette and dip my brush in. Look how messy this, I'm a hot mess. I'm literally a hot mess. This is a cl completely clean brush. It was just clean, there was nothing on it. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? This has to be a joke. Nobody wears this as foundation. What the fuck? Y'all, this is um, this is liquid highlighter that I just put all over my face. <laughs> and you fucking know, you best believe I'm not cutting this out when I edit. I literally just put liquid highlighter on all over my face and thought I thought this was foundation because of the color of it. How am I still alive? How have I lived to see the age of 34? I just, I don't even know. We are back. I've got my concealer on again, my um, primer. Let's try this out. So this is not a drugstore item. I'm not sure if this is viral or not, but we're gonna try it out because it looks to be a little bit more my shade. This is the uh, brand new Born This, Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow 30 SPF Moisturizing Skin Tint. It's got some fancy ingredients in it. It's got some coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. It says 24 hour wear, vegan, all day hydration. So let's try this. Um, they gave me three different shades and this is definitely the darkest one. So let's try it out. I'm kind of starting to feel like I could just kind of use this concealer around my face a little bit and it would give me the look that I like. I like this packaging a lot. I like this squeezy. Okay. Smells interesting. 
This shade that I'm using is called Vanilla, by the way. So this coverage is uh, kind of a lot more than I expected for a skin tint. I have different skin tints and it's just crazy like the varying differences of like coverage. This is like a pretty full coverage skin tint. Like this isn't one that I think you could just throw on and like not do your eyebrows and stuff, in my opinion. If you had more eyebrows than me, maybe that'd be a different story. But like I wouldn't feel comfortable which, this isn't a bad thing either, it's just it is what it is. But like I personally wouldn't grab this and throw this on and just like throw some, a little bit of brow gel and like some mascara on and call it a day. Like look what it's done to my lips. Like this is pretty full on coverage for a skin tint. Cause when you're talking about like this skin tint from ColourPop called Pretty Fresh ha is like very light. Like I could throw this on over like over my skin and kind of just do some mascara and just have like a little like sheer coverage. But this is way more full on for sure. Let's move on. I'm gonna be using another undone product here. This is a little tiny blush in the shade Water Blush. I'm glad it tells me what kind of product it is so I don't use it for something I'm not supposed to. That's pretty crazy looking. It does look like water. My first concern is how much of my makeup is this going to remove? <laughs> That's my first concern. Look at that. It's kind of interesting looking. I'm going to take a brush and get some of it on there and see how we do. Okay, that's pretty pigmented. I'm gonna add some of it over here. That's pretty. I suck at this influencing thing. I don't know if you've noticed, but this is a shade 294 and it's called Peach. So I'm gonna, I'm liking the way that this is looking, although I don't think that these look similar to each other at all. This is definitely way more pigmented. I'm gonna add a little bit to my nose. I really like how that looks. You have to kind of go off of the shade that you see on the cap because I would say that's pretty accurate, but that isn't. Let's go back to this and put a little bit of this on. Are you guys terrified of this product yet? Because I am. Also, I'm just like, why would you put this in such a giant container? I mean, I'm not complaining about getting more product, but like, this is, this is a lot of like, that looks like the amount that you would get for like a foundation or like a body highlight. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to make excuses for myself now. I'm going to add a little bit of this. Well, it does look really pretty as highlight. I'll give it that. I typically don't put powder, uh, bronzer or contour on without powdering, but I'm going to try it today and see what happens because it can't get any worse. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. I'm sorry, that is blush? In what world? Balls. Mm, just crushing it over here. So this is called Forever Sunkissed. I'm gonna kind of use this like as a bronzer right now cause I, uh, I just, this is not gonna work for me and my skin tone as a blush, but uh, it is kind of working as a bronzer, so. That's cool. Well, I have to say, this looks really good as contour on me, so <laughs> I'm into that. I did get the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I didn't think I was, I just, I'm not really gonna use much of this, honestly, because I don't think I need to, but I will just put a little bit right here. See how that kind of flattened out that area? You can't really see my pores anymore on this side, which is cool. Always a fan of that. Hmm, dang, that works pretty good. Put a little bit in my eyebrows. I hate when my eyebrows are like shiny. Maybe just a tiny in the middle. It's a good uh, little um, 
poor blurring action. Yeah, I'm feeling that stuff, dang. I feel like next I have my eyebrows and I'm like terrified to do my eyebrows because you guys know that I don't like using anything but my brow blade from Urban Decay. So we're gonna start this off and see if I can achieve a good looking brow with this product. If I can't, I'm gonna be pulling out my brow blade because I'm, I can't, I can't sacrifice the eyebrows. Like if I have bad eyebrows, I won't be doing anything else for the rest of the day. So I'm just, I'm just not trying to shoot myself in the foot like that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to multitask today. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. It has a little brush on one side and the brow product on the other. I'm afraid this is gonna flatten out super fast, but let's see what happens. This says it's taupe. It looks a lot darker to me. Wow, I'm like really stoked on like how everything is looking, like the base. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this in. Okay, I can tell immediately off the bat, this would work really well if you just were filling in a little bit or um, something of that nature. But if you're kind of like trying to draw individual eyebrow hairs and create a shape, you're gonna need a couple products like I do. If I had fuller brows, I think this would work really well because it's not putting like too much product on my brow. It's kind of just putting just the right amount. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to use this to like shape in my main like brow shape like so and then i'm gonna go back through with a darker brow shade from urban decay brow blade and create those little hairs that i like to do on my brows to make it look a little more realistic so this is working really well in this shade for just like filling in now i'm taking dark drapes uh, by Urban Decay and I'm adding some brow hair in here. Alrighty, moving on. This is by Essence. This is their Lash Princess Mascara. This gives a false lash effect, apparently really elongates, makes them thicker, bolder. I have a little um, lash issue going on like right here where they're just not growing right now. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, like what did that do? Like nothing? Literally that lash curler does nothing. Where's the, gar where's the garbage? Uh, this is what the little spoolie looks like. I think I'm gonna be wearing, um, false lashes today anyway, but we'll go with this for now and see how we do. I would say that mascara like worked pretty well, but it's like nothing mind blowing, but it definitely works better than a lot of more expensive mascaras that I've tried. So um, if you have a little bit more lashes to work with than I do, then maybe that would work for you pretty well. I'm interested to see if it transfers down here. That's kind of like the biggest test for me with mascara because I, I was gonna say usually I put lashes on when I do my makeup, but lately in mom land, I, I really have just been kind of rolling with mascara a lot of days. So I might just do that right now as well and not worry about lashes. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup. This is the Milani Make It Last Original Natural Finish Setting Spray 16 hours. So it says it primes, corrects, and sets. So, um, it locks in makeup up to 16 hours. Uh, all right, let's try it out. I like this little packaging for some reason. It's like making me want a shot of tequila. Is that normal? I just went and had some food. I cooked some of the yellow squash from my garden. It was delicious. My camera gets really hot in here because the light behind it is very warm. So you might hear our attic fan going. <clears throat> So I gotta, I gotta keep that on. So we're almost done though. As I uh, sat back down, I kind of took a look at everything. I put some lashes on. This guy does not want to stay down. There is just a tiny bit of creasing in the makeup right there. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna kind of, oh my gosh. You guys, I thought this was the same foundation brush that I put this on with. It is not. 
Just really, I really should not be buying any lotto tickets today. If you haven't purchased these before, this is your sign. This is the NYX um, Suede Matte Lipstick. It's just a really nice formula that is pretty much never drying for me anyway and I always have very dry lips you guys know this if you've been here for any length of time and then the matching suede matte lip liner but it's like this is the um lipstick right here obviously there's a highlight under it but um it's just like a really nice formula that's matte but not like drying I pretty much never wear liquid lipstick anymore because it just dries the absolute shit out of my lips so this is the type of product that i like to wear it does transfer but a uh, small price to pay to have lips that are not cracking off i have to say during this pregnancy my lips have actually stayed pretty moisturized like they haven't just been cracking like they usually do so that's actually been really nice uh, oh, it just slides on and glides on so easy too. I freaking love this lipstick. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. So I would say the highlights for me is definitely that concealer from what I'm seeing on my face right now and just applying it. That's pretty much my new favorite concealer and it's going to be replacing this one over here. This one I really like. It's just a little bit more shiny when it dries down even, and then it just doesn't cover quite as well as this one. So um, I usually don't need a very high coverage concealer because I don't have dark circles or anything like that. But this one I really like. I like the shape of the applicator as well. So really loving this. I really like this freaking powder that I put on over everything. I would say that did a lot for me. I feel like it kind of made my pores almost disappear in some of these areas without making my face just look too freaking like matte and 1D. Um, what else? I really like the tone of that blush that I used. I think I, I don't think I knew it was blush. I think I thought it was bronzer. So, um, or, uh, what am I trying to say? Contour. So I really like that as well. Um, also I really loved the eyebrow product. I think if you have more eyebrow hair than me, you'll find it even easier to do your brows with it. But for me, it was really nice to just like draw that general shape on really quick and then just go back in and add some hairs as opposed to drawing all of my little hairs one by one by one. And that's usually how I fill in my eyebrow. I do have an eyebrow tutorial that I don't know if, if it's if it's out by the time this video comes out I will link it for you guys below but I did a very in-depth brow tutorial about how I do my brows um, kind of the long way today was the short way and I'm pretty stoked that I have a short way now because usually it's just the long way or no brows so I'm pretty happy about that the blush I liked um, I think it was went well everything else I, I didn't hate any of the products, but those are my standouts for me for sure um, What did you guys think have you guys tried undone makeup before by the way? Like I think I might have to get some more of that. I was pretty pretty happy with how all of that turned out, but overall um, Yeah, enjoy how it turned out and I can actually walk out in public now. So that's cool. Thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye